the chair of chairs. Tonette chair number 14. Consisting of six parts and six screws, the chair, which was created in 1859, became the most popular seat in the world. Nowadays, it enjoys a well-earned place in the design museums of New York, Paris and London, and it's considered the most successful industrial product of the 19th century. That's because it was the first chair to become an industrial product, the first one that embodied a clear, precise design. Industrial history was written here. The Tonet No. 14 chair has been produced in Frankenberg in northern Hessen for five generations. The production process takes eight days to complete, partly because much of it is done by hand. Our company philosophy is that design is a reduction of things to their bare essentials. That means that with us you'll find furniture with very clear forms and minimal materials. The revolution began in 1836 with a new technique for bending the wood, and it's still done just as Michel Tournet set down all those years ago. The beech wood is soaked in steam for five hours to soften it. Then the benders have just three minutes to shape it into curves before it dries out and breaks. Only four skilled workers are left who've mastered the technique. This three-dimensional shaping of wood can only be done by human hands because only a human being has the necessary sensitivity. Every piece of wood is different. Every kind of wood grows differently, and no machine can imitate that craftsmanship. The company grew up with this technology, and nowadays, of course, it's as important to us as it's always been. Bending the wood made a completely new design possible. 50 million were sold before 1930. Number 14 has found pride of place in the residences of many famous people, including Lenin, Picasso and Einstein. But the fact that such a simple chair enjoyed a meteoric rise to success wasn't due just to the design. The small number of parts was extremely important. It's made up of only six curved parts and a few screws. The chairs could be distributed in kit form. That way you could get 36 chairs into a one cubic meter sea crate. That was in itself a revolution. Back in Frankenberg, Tornet's small family business has become an international company. The founder's three great-grandchildren are continuing the beechwood furniture tradition. At the Tornet's home, Number 14 chairs are considered part of the family. We've had them for about 14 years. In that time, the chairs have been around for quite a few family parties. When they're 100 years old, they'll have really experienced a lot. But unfortunately, they won't be telling us about it. The chairs will certainly be with me to the end of my life. And I hope my descendants will use them after that. And those descendants will be the sixth generation of Tournettes to enrich the world with one extraordinary chair. <laughs>